I have been trying to find a new car for the longest time now. So I've been browsing like all the car sales pages and car sales is massive in Australia and so is uh, Gumtree. So they're the ones I've been on mostly. Browsing for what feels like ever, but that is finally coming to an end because I found a car. So today we're gonna go and purchase it. It is a black BMW 335i with N54 engine. Uh, so twin turbo, straight six. Pretty excited about it. For the longest time now, for two summers actually, uh, my Navara that I drive, my old Navara, has had uh, no air compressor. I got quoted like $1,600 to fix it and I decided it's easier to just get a new car rather than try and you know get that sorted so put it off, put it off, just gonna get a new car. Was actually planning to get a 2018 Mustang. Really go all out and and buy like something I, I really enjoy um, or would enjoy and they're quite new here in Australia so I know that if you're watching this in America Mustangs aren't new, they're, they're, they're everywhere from what I can tell but um, here they're quite new, they're, they're not a Bogan car at all, we have different Bogan cars, our Holdens and Fords but it was going to be one of them with a flash LED screen and everything but it turns out we might be me and my girlfriend might be able to buy a house sometime in the in the near future so it's like well I can't go out and spend a lot of money on financing a car off I have to get something that's a bit on the cheaper side found this really good deal on a 335i now it is an automatic it has uh, a transmission tune on it so it changes very fast but I would have preferred a manual there was some manuals in Sydney but they come in at $27,000 still is the cheapest you pick one of those up I talked to a guy down to about 25 but it still kind of fell through because of the age of, car, of the car and trying to get a uh, small loan for it to you know have some money still for a, a house deposit if need be soon. So found this one just by being automatic. It's black, it has all of the uh, packages, comfort, the access package, the, the M Sport, so it's got different suspension and things like that, the seats bolster in. Um, a bit more, you can tighten them, and the surround sound 7 speaker system. All the nice little touches, so it feels a little bit flash, even though it's dated. And I'm sure to show you all of the things that it comes with. But picked it up for $12,000. The cheapest manual is $27, and this one is $12. So, ridiculous offer here in Australia, and things are a little bit more expensive. So, a brand new Mustang GT here, just for a reference for you, is $70,000. Okay, the cheapest you'll get one now, they've been over, over a year. Like the 2019 is available now. The cheapest you can get one is still 62,000 drive away. So that's kind of what you're looking at. So to get a BMW 335i here for um, $12,000, such a steal. So we're going to pick it up later tonight. Some really nice houses here. That's 25, okay. 25. Google Maps is taking us 27. Oh, it's oh, going up. Oh, there. Here it is. Oh, Let's go get it. Trade. <laughs> Put your foot on the brake and start it. This is clean. I did have to Google though how to open the fuel bowser. So here it is, my new BMW in the background. Now it's not a new model at all, it's not nothing crazy. Um, but it's a big deal to me because this is my first ever car 
that I've actually purchased myself. So my parents gave me their hand-me-down 1999 Nissan Navara with no air compressor. Well, the, it seized on me. So it's been about two or three summers without any uh, nice cold air. And I do quite a bit of driving for work. So it's been a bit of a struggle. And that was really the last straw. But before we go into any more detail with that, I'm just gonna wrap this video up because it's a little bit choppy and over the place. But um, I have a look at the car for anyone that doesn't know some of the things about the 335i. Uh, starting with the exterior, then we'll uh, check out the interior and wrap it up with a bit of a drive and a story as to why I guess this is a big step for me. And uh, yeah, I think some good things will come with this. I've already got a mod list of things I want to do and it should be a, I'm very excited for the next, you know, couple of months anyway. So starting around the back, I don't know if they're um, stock rims or the aftermarket. They do have the BMW emblem. Um, but if anyone, for, for anyone that doesn't know what the 335 eyes look like, um, they have a lot of, a lot of the tech that you find now, which is unbelievable. For a car that's like 12, 13 years old, um, here's the uh, outside scan. Now it does have a few um, imperfections. So there's one little mark on the rim there. You might see that I'll have to fix up. Relatively stock. I mean, it's got the sunroof and, and stuff like that. We'll check out the interior now. So it's very low, we'll slide down and in, and here we are. So, like I said, not super tech, heavy or anything. Um, a lot of cool features like um, the windows will just wind down when you open the door. I don't know why, if it like kind of lets out some air or anything. But I will start up. So the key is in my pocket. There is a little latch for it there. So this comes stock standard on any 335, okay? Um, where you can just put the, the uh, foot on the brake. We'll start it up. There we go. The seatbelt gets handed towards you. Now that's some fancy shit right there. Coming from a Navara with no air conditioner to getting handed your seatbelt is unreal. So dual climate control, all that stuff, which is you know completely standard um, in this day and age. The iDrive system is um, pretty good, just a little bit dated in its responsiveness and things like that. So I press enter, then we load up. So it's got all the radio stations and everything like that. And it doesn't actually have Bluetooth music. It does have Bluetooth calls, but underneath here is a system that has a, uh, a kind of DIY Bluetooth music streamer. So that's handy. That is uh, something you can work around. Other things, so uh, we have the heated seats, which I don't think, I'm not sure if that is stock, that's on both sides, or it's um, something extra you pay for. The seats are all electric, so they move backwards and forwards. But they also, if I press a button down here, which you won't be able to see, it's uh, like a rectangle button, I can make the seat bolstering tighten up on me, so that's all extra stuff. Um, yeah, just all the, all the extras that come with it got, and uh, so it's a little bit fancy, just like some of the Euro, the Euro cars. Also, the craziest thing probably about this car, or Euro cars in general, which I'm not used to, is, um, well, sunroof is always cool and everything, but shit is automatic. So the headlights are on automatic right now. So I just press this, uh, I just turn one knob and it's um, onto automatic down here. And also things like the, uh, what else automatic? The windscreen wipers are automatic. They can somehow sense when, it, when it's raining which is insane to me.